You begin, though, with the debate on the border. Tonight in Green Valley, a group who started a GoFundMe to build the wall held a town hall. Former presidential aide Steve Bannon was also there. Taja Davis was there, and she joins us now. And Taja, what was the atmosphere in the room? Well, Pat Val, the atmosphere was very energetic at the town hall. Members of the Quail Creek Republican Club were pretty eager to hear from the people who started the campaign and viral GoFundMe page, We Build a Wall. In a packed room, border wall supporters welcomed Steve Bannon to the Quail Creek Republican Club. With him, members of the We Build a Wall campaign to talk about pushing for President Trump's border wall. I think the president will, I don't think he'll take anything short of actually building the wall. We Build a Wall is working to first build on private land, working with property owners along the border. So that's why you're seeing so many people in this grassroots movement say, yeah, I, I want to do that. I want to help that private property owner uh, build that wall. Members of the club asked questions ranging from how negotiations were going for the group to President Trump possibly declaring the border wall as a national emergency. It's, uh, it's heartening to me to see after so many years of talking about it, you're actually having, having action. And I think that's what President Trump sees. President Trump now knows, I think we're at an inflection point, it's time to get on with it. Meanwhile, a protest took place outside of the building. Those against the wall holding signs opposing this meeting and Bannon's arrival. Immigration and housing children in, in cages and mistreating people and being racist, it, everything about it is wrong. Taja Davis, Kega 9 on your side. As of tonight, the We the People Will Fund the Border Wall GoFundMe has raised $20 million, the latest contributions coming in in just the last few minutes. We move